When you're in the mountains in January, the words low and snow shouldn't go together. But that's what we have. Blame it, at least part of it, on the blob, a massive patch of water in the Gulf of Alaska around 5 degrees Fahrenheit warmer than normal. I like to put it in a casino analogy that having this warm water stacks the deck toward us having uh, warmer than normal air temperatures, blob 2.0, you know, whatever. I spoke with state climatologist Nick Bond a month ago as the winter snowpack in the Cascades was struggling to get a foothold. It's not that we haven't had snow, we just haven't had enough. And compare these two snapshots, both taken on January 3rd. Snowpack in the central Cascades, just 45% of normal for this date. Most of the Cascades blanketed in low snow red. And this was the same date in 2015. It was actually a bit better. Yet that winter would end in drought and a record fire season. That year also blamed on a blob, blob one. But while it's easy to draw comparisons to that winter of five years ago, that doesn't mean that this winter is going to play out exactly like that one. And Nick Bond holds out hope. You said, talk to me in a month and <laughs> right. see how worried I am then. Yeah. It's now been a month in a few days. Right. How worried are you? I'm concerned, but guardedly optimistic that we're not going to have big problems. And that's uh, largely because the next few weeks look like it's going to be on the cool, wet side. Bond says our current blob has weakened a bit. It's also further away from the northwest coast than the one in 2015. A return to more serious snowfall expected to begin this weekend may help. But Bond says a sustained winter blast is unlikely to bring us back to normal. Here's hoping, at least, that we get enough snow in January that even if February and March aren't so great, we'll have enough to get through the summer. A summer where everything from our forests to our crops to the taps on our sinks can make it through stress-free. In the Central Cascades, Glenn Farley, King 5 News.